Hey guys, Chicky Domain, aka Daboo.com with the Daboo.com surf forecast update. This forecast update effective around 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday, June 1st, 2014. The official start to the 2014 Atlantic hurricane season. And we're going to start you off over here in the Bay of Campeche as the National Hurricane Center now giving a 20% chance of development in five days and associated with an area of low pressure uh, that's a elongated over here in the Bay of Campeche. Now we're going to show you what the models had been suggesting over the last week or so, switching over to this next image. Uh, if you guys have been following our forecast, you know that the GFS initially was taking an area of low pressure in here towards the Yucatan Channel and then moving it up towards the north-northeast, towards the Big Bend area. And then there was a model shift where it became that an area of low pressure was going to try and develop in the Gulf of Honduras cross over the tip of the Yucatan Peninsula and into the central Gulf of Mexico. And then some of the other models, the UK Met, ECMWF, and CMC started suggesting development in the Bay of Campeche, but with a track over into Mexico. And then now here recently, we've discussed the idea of a tropical uh, system in the eastern Pacific t uh, trying to develop and then the bleed over carrying over into the Bay of Campeche help to uh, form another area of low pressure in here. So we're going to take a little closer look. Here's the Bay of Campeche this morning and as you can see just off the coast right here there's some counterclockwise rotation starting to develop with convection starting to fire. Now environmental conditions are not favorable at the moment down here in the Bay of Campeche. The only area that we have favorable is in the northern gulf at the moment so wind shear remains relatively high in here but as you can see here's a little bit closer look versus this broad counterclockwise rotation that's up in here towards the middle of the Bay of Campeche. So we're going to be watching this because the other models had been suggesting that, that was, this is what was going to happen, area of low pressure developed down here and then move back west towards the Mexican coast. So we'll take a look at that here shortly, but look at the Yucatan Channel. Look how the convection is really firing up in here and there's a little counterclockwise rotation now in here in this Yucatan Channel. Previous model runs of the GFS was suggesting that this particular area would lift off through the Gulf of Mexico and then off the outer banks and try and reform into another area of low pressure. We did see that in the uh, uh, past model runs. And as you can see, the strongest convection right now in the Gulf of Mexico is over the Yucatan Channel, moving over the western tip of Cuba. We'll watch that over the next coming days. But uh, looking at the latest on 93E Invest and what this could mean for bleed over into the Bay of Campeche that could help this elongated area of low pressure uh, that's situated in here develop. You can see that there's a nice counterclockwise rotation trying to set up in here. We'll take a look at the floater image and as you can see uh, here it is right in here and the stronger this gets the more that will probably sap the energy of that elongated area of low pressure currently in the Bay of Campeche. If this can stay disorganized or move quickly back towards the coast, some of that could feed into that area and help spurn our first tropical system of the 2014 season. That's all we got for you for now, guys. Stay tuned for the next update.